What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Lamp is On. She is... Armani, and that and is here. Johnny. I don't know. What is your problem with not saying your name? Like, I don't like saying my name. Okay, that's Johnny. I'll say it for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to another episode. Uh, Jeremy is not with us again this week, uh, but hopefully he'll be back next week. And uh, this episode is, uh, we're dealing with the video that went viral a couple of weeks ago um, about the baby mama who called herself, she said she was exposing her baby daddy uh, for buying McDonald's for his child. She has four kids, one by him and three by other. Uh, baby daddies. And so he only bought McDonald's for his child, the child that he had with her. And she put him on video saying, why would he do that? Uh, she got three other kids there. Why is he not feeding all three of them? The victims of this whole thing are the children. So money. Uh, was she right or was she wrong? Point blank. She was wrong. And I say she was wrong because those not his kids. I understand, like, why would you bring one kid? Why would you bring food for one kid and not bring food for the other kids? But those aren't his kids. And two... He could have did it out of the kindness of his heart. Okay, well, if I'm going to get my child something to eat, let me go ahead and get everybody else's there something to eat. But that's not his responsibility. That's not his responsibility. And how would he even know, like, well, I'm not going to say, like, how would he know that there's other kids there? Because he probably do. He probably, like, they don't have siblings or whatever. But if that child called their dad to say, hey, dad, I'm hungry. Can you bring me something to eat? The other kids ain't vouching. Oh, can you get me something to eat, too? No, they didn't say that. So I really do think she was wrong for that because he didn't have, well, number one, he didn't even have to bring his child anything to eat. <laughs> so she need to be grateful that he did because where's the other three kids that? And that's why I think, like, people be blaming people for stuff and it really don't, like, be making any sense. <laughs> How are you going to bring blame me? Because I brought my child something to eat. The dish is your, But she's with you, and you're not feeding him. That's a problem. She said that she didn't get her food stamps until the 11th. And so, obviously, he brought the McDonald's before the 11th. <coughs> and she was not going to allow that one child to eat that the other ones couldn't eat. So, if that child, like, wants to share their food, then they can. But you're and not about to tell me my dad just brought me something to eat and I can't eat it. And she even said, but he's not going to be eating in front of his siblings like that. So the dad was like, okay, well, bring him out. Exactly. <laughs> bring him here. Out. We can eat in the car. car. <laughs> right. She's like, no, that is not. You are wrong for that. Like, I, you, you can't. You can't put someone else's responsibility on, like, you can't put one's responsibility on another responsibility, but then when one falls through a crack, you can't let the other one take pun feel guilty about it or take punishment for it. Like, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's crazy though, because I guess it's different ways you look at it. Because, like, so he, he's there. So what if he wanted to take his child for the weekend? You're not going to say, well, his siblings here. Exactly. Take the rest of them. Right. Those are not. Those not my kids. <laughs> like. So I, I don't know where she was going with that. She thought the <coughs> video was going to do good, but everybody bashed her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> everybody bashed her because she's trying to make him look like a, a bad, bad dad. Guy, but he did what but he needed to do. <laughs> Yeah. That's my child. Where your I'm, other baby dad is at. Exactly. You may be fussing at me because I'm not taking care of my child, but when I do take care of my child, now you're fussing at me because I didn't take care of all your kids. <laughs> like, yeah. what? And then 
Now, now here's the flip side. If they were together, married, then yes, I can. That's see that. a different story. That's a different story. Because now you're playing the role of stepdad, right? And, and so now you got a you got a responsibility of these taking care of the household. Exactly. Okay. Yes, I can yeah. definitely see that. But y'all not together. Y'all not right. <laughs> Hey, that's your you have baby daddy one, baby daddy two. It's your as the mother, because you don't have a male in the household, you take that responsibility as taking care of the household. Mm-hmm. If one of your baby daddies decide to come and feed his child, okay, you got one out of the way. Now right. you need to worry about how you're gonna feed the other three. Oh, the other three, right. She if anything, she need to be grateful. Okay, now I don't have to spend more money. Because if you paying for four kids, you go to McDonald's, you get a happy, happy Meal. That's like $7 times four, $28 plus taxes. You're you about to so, spend $30 so on kids. But <laughs> if you drop at least one of them kids, that's $21. Let's see, taxes about $22. So you went from $30 to $22. Come on. That's a whole eight difference. $8 difference. $8, even, that's still in your pocket. Even she's, she's so... Uh, She's been getting, getting, getting. Right. Because even she said she don't get her food stamps until the 11th. So you depending on people giving you stuff. Yeah. As opposed to you working to. Yeah, go get your to, own. Yeah. And you still having these babies. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a personal problem, sweetie. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> if you have the child, uh, for most young girls now that are getting pregnant, they should be stable enough to be able to take care. Now, some are fortunate to have grandparents who will gladly help. But then there are others that won't. (laughs) (laughs) You just gotta suffer with the consequences. (laughs) I really don't know what else to say about it. You should. Never mind. But <laughs> you get it. You get it. And you just got to suffer with the consequences at times. I guess parenting is just, there yeah. are different styles of parenting. My and mentor tells me all the time, like, you can't make a permanent decision in a temporary situation. Come on. I mean, my men- did I say mentor? Yes, you did. Okay. My mentor, she tells me that all the time. Like, And in that case, that is a perfect example of that. You just got to learn. And. It comes with consequences, but it can also come with benefits and advantages as well. But And I saw many TikToks where they took four plates, they cut the burger in four, <laughs> gave each, each, each plate had about four or five fries, there you go. got small cups, and <laughs> divided the fries. <laughs> there there are many ways yeah, there that you... Ways that you can solve that problem, yeah. But, like, you shouldn't be bashing him because he didn't bring and that's not the, his kids' food. And then putting it on social media. All right. What are what? you expecting the people to, to do? <laughs> you want money? <laughs> you want somebody to give you some money because like your babies what? ain't eating? Okay, let me cash up you. Why Please. do we we put everything on social media? Again, it's just people want to, people want other people to see what they're doing. So it's that, it's that mentality of... Praise me type deal type type vibe. Well, she definitely didn't get praised. Yeah, but that's also like okay. This this story kind of goes with this topic, but it really doesn't. But I saw this video on Instagram yesterday, and it was saying how I guess this, it was this girl birthday, and her boyfriend was there. I just saw that last night. And she got <laughs> mad at the boyfriend. <laughs> We're not paying for everybody's food. Eighteen friends she brought. Eighteen friends. And so, including her, that's 19 females. And he was the only, I think him and the person that was recorded was his homeboy. Oh, I, don't, I don't know who recorded. I but heard a male so. voice. So oh, okay. His homeboy. But you're telling me, so you're mad at the boy for not paying for all your food? But he paid for your food, so why would you? Now, my, my only thing with these things, because now I don't, I saw something else about the couple prank. They're all staged now. I don't know if that was staged or not because why are you videoing that? How, that's random. And then you turn the camera every time somebody starts talking. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch the whole video. I just watched. 
So I, I'm right. thinking that a lot of these videos now, that's why when we start vlogging, we got to make sure it's as it's authentic actually, as right. possible. <laughs> it's real as possible. Because I don't like the way they're doing videos now. It's like y'all are stay, like the the kids, put your shoes on, somebody about, I'm about to go fight. And then I, it, they got a little oh, son. Oh. I want you to hop in and fight the son. So y'all are y'all are practicing with the kids before you turn the camera on. I'm crying. <laughs> Cause I I just don't like these videos no more. Yeah. But yeah, that she was she, wrong for that. Eighteen friends. You mean to tell me where are they? they where they, is their they, man? They were dressed up, so they went somewhere fancy. Right. And where's <laughs> where's where's their man? I could care less about their man. It's eighteen of y'all. <laughs> Y'all need to bring some money. No, no, no. So she called everybody and said, come, we're going to eat on my man. Who told you that? Yeah, exactly. No, my thing is, that, that, she's me, the dummy for even thinking that. He's who, the dummy for still staying there having a conversation. Because I would have told her. Because he said okay, this no, is I, over. <laughs> I would have been gone. I would have said. to my car. <laughs> See y'all whenever I see y'all. No, I would have said, oh, okay, since you want me to pay for everybody's food, how about you? I pay you this. We're done. So I'm wondering who paid for it because they were walking. <laughs> they were walking out. <laughs> so, so I wonder who They must have went back there and washed the dishes or so. But I, they must have had their own money. Could it? They had to. Had to. Y'all are all walking away she from She had a rest. plan and she wanted this to go out so yeah. well. And she was so mad. Like, what him. are you mad? I brought my 18 friend. You should have paid. No, I can't. That's couldn't. not how this works. Now, I kind of heard. It's your birthday and I'm spoiling you. Yeah, I kind of heard, though. I don't know if he paid. He, went, he probably was that mad. I don't even know if he paid for her. <laughs> he probably was that mad. You want to pay for who? <laughs> so how about all of y'all pay for yourselves, <laughs> including you? Oh, boy. <laughs> you down? All right, let's go. <laughs> Because no, most of the time, that's why a lot of times uh, when I'm going out to restaurants with people, I don't tell them that I'm going to pay until the end. Right. Because then you start splurging and buy everything on the menu. Exactly. <laughs> like, hold on, on. You got a budget. <laughs> oh, let me get dessert, too. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So, and, like, before I, the Lord started blessing me, I had happened to go to Ruth Chris. I love me some Ruth Chris. Okay. All right. Bless oh your heart. This God. is before I started getting blessed. Okay. And so I did not know about Ruth Chris and their prices. Oh, yeah. Ruth Chris has an a la carte so menu. We're in there. It You're going to pay for everything oh, separately. It is nice in there. Yeah. It's quiet. That's my favorite restaurant. I love me some Ruth Chris. Beautiful. Beautiful dating spot. Yeah. But if you have money. <laughs> yeah, so I we're dropped. in there. And so I'm looking at, I'm like, oh. So I asked her, I was like, what you, what you want? She got the little steak and all that stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll get a Caesar salad and uh, some water. Because <laughs> I knew what I had. Yes. And what I had was not going to match mm -hmm. if both of us got a meal meal. So I made sure that she ate. So which was cool. Because I knew what I was walking into. Right. He didn't know. That he was, that walking, was walking into 18 teen girls. girls, including her. Exactly. Yeah, Ruth Chris is expensive. Especially if they went somewhere fancy and you said it was dressed they up. Dressed up. So they Ruth Chris, to. for my dad's birthday this past February, it was me, him, my two sisters. And I paid for everybody's meal. That was almost $200. Yeah. You're Two not going to pay under uh, Exactly. If and, it's more than one person. And it was four people. Yeah. And they, they came. Then Rutgers don't got no kids menu, so they got something small, and I still spent almost two hundred dollars. But that wasn't bad though. Right. To me, I'm like two hundred dollars. That's a fancy restaurant. You yeah, know what you're walking into. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah. I just didn't know what I was walking into. Oh, yeah. But they they ain't catching me slipping the next time. I could have told you that. Yeah. Well, I you gonna spend some money at Rutgers? Yeah. yeah. But don't get me wrong. Nice place. Food is good. Oh yes. But uh, you gotta have some money. Ooh, but much. I just don't understand our logic. And expecting people to do more than they're obligated to do. do. Right. Because you don't know what he had. Right. And he probably barely had enough for you. And you were sitting here mad because I didn't pay for 18. First off, why do you have that many right. friends? Second of all, these are your Our friends. friends. <laughs> and this is your birthday. <laughs> you 
you should have paid for their food. <laughs> Matter of fact, some of them should have took care of you. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Took care of me Where and are you. Where gifts? Because I'm the boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here as a luxury. <laughs> First of all, we shouldn't even, that shouldn't even been a combination. That, should, that shouldn't have, yeah. Because y'all should have been going on a date by yourselves. Somebody, somebody either hyped her head up over that or she must have saw that. She must have saw a video of somebody doing that and expected him to do that. Because where did you get the idea that from, from? Everybody. Even, even if I did have a boyfriend right now and we all was to go out to eat with him and my friends, I'm not going to expect for him to pay for everybody. That's like, that's just, people are crazy. Like, really? You expect for this one man to pay for 18 of y'all food? I don't even know how that even clicked in her mind that he, it probably depends on what he does. Exactly. So now you're saying, okay, let's let's just do some, some simple math. Like, okay, if they went to a fancy restaurant, everybody's bill is at least $30, $50. So let's just say $50 at the most. $50 times 18 people? That's nine hundred dollars. I'm about to drop a thousand dollars. Add two more people because you got him. No, three more people. You got him, him his homeboy, and, and her. the girl. Yeah. That's th- plus taxes, cause taxes is expensive these days. That's seven percent in Georgia, baby, be eating up. <laughs> but that's are you meaning to say I'm about to drop a thousand dollars on food? Oh, well, one night. On one night. And I still gotta give you a gift, baby. This is your gift. Happy birthday! That's why you paying for a party. Yeah. Off of that, we could have put some balloons up in the backyard and had a cookout. Exactly. <laughs> I could have a whole. I could have paid a whole a, a chef to come do this. <laughs> <laughs> we could have had brunch. Right? <laughs> Let's go to the beach and put the look. <laughs> Put a little tent up. And <laughs> we could have had a picnic at the park. <laughs> but that's all of it. I'm not about to pay. I'm sorry. I'm not about to pay for no your friends. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Unless I was really generous. And now I can see if I wanted to do it. Right. If I wanted to do that, then okay. Yeah, but you mad at me I and causing a scene because I did not want to. In front of them now. And then all of them, you say you didn't watch the whole video. All of them started saying that he was wrong for not paying. First of all, I'm not dating now one of y'all. <laughs> so I'm not obligated to pay for your meal. Why are y'all friends? Why do you have 18 friends? That's 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 crazy rare. That's crazy in this generation right now. Because <laughs> why do you Clearly have you've got some vetting to do. <laughs> You must have been a popular girl at school and just picked there's up no everybody. Way. There's no way. Unless, unless that's the whole cheerleading there, squad. In school, there's no way. I don't that's know if they're over. in school or not. That's over. Oh, it's summer. I'm tripping. No, I'm still. saying either way, after school is out, you barely have all of the, you don't. I don't right. talk to all of them people, all them people I went to school with. Exactly. Like I walked up to them randomly. And, hey, yeah, we went to school together. All right. Right. That's it. That's it. Exactly. Like, <laughs> I'm not still friends with all of y'all. That's, uh, so yeah. I don't know where she. That's her wedding party, and clearly he's not gonna be the the, the groom. She gotta get out that man. She gotta get out that man. So she's looking for her husband. And so, so she gonna have eighteen and expect her husband to find eighteen <laughs> men to stand on his side. <laughs> You better get it and together, this, big and man. Gonna, she gonna expect him to pay for their dresses. Oh, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, ma'am. Pay to get their hair done. No, ma'am. Y'all gotta go. <laughs> yeah, sweetheart, because all eighteen of them kids is not gonna be in your bridal shower, your bridal, your bridal party. In other news, really quick. Yeah, what's the so, part two of this? Black parents. Well, beat your behind is what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. That's not what this meme says. But black parents will beat your behind because your grades are bad instead of getting you a tutor. Do y'all think that's normal? No. That's not normal at all. I used to. I only got three beatings in my life. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. oh, Sadie Parker? 
I'm just surprised you only got three. What do you mean only three? <laughs> because. I wasn't bad. I was quiet. You know I'm quiet. Oh, yeah, that is true. I'm still quiet. Yeah, my mom said you were quiet. Yeah. Yeah, she still can't believe that you turned into a pastor because she <laughs> said she said you were quiet. <laughs> she talks about it all the time. She was like, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I literally was quiet. You got three beatings out of your three. hood. Oh my god! I think I you think know, I, I remember what they were. One was because I uh, I don't remember. What you know they how were. good that is. That's really good. That is, that's that's amazing compared to me. But none of them had to do anything with grades. Oh okay. It's just like many stuff you just, did. Yeah. Probably like mischievous. You know, being, quiet people, quiet children. Yeah. We get into stuff. Being defiant. <laughs> yeah, you too quiet. You blending in. Like, you you get in trouble for being quiet. Like, I didn't even get in trouble for uh, throwing that chair. My mom understood. Oh, okay. She understood. I can see that. Self-defense. Yeah. Especially you're a quiet kid. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't bothering nobody. Not right. I'm getting my own little girl. Like, <laughs> I'm back here being quiet. What you want me to do? <laughs> But no, I never got I never got a beating for uh, grades. My mom was disappointed. Like I got one F, and I tried to change. That's when they had the 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 the, 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 the what do you call them? Report cards, and they had to <laughs> they had to type write type written in the okay in the report card, and all you had to do was take that special pen and like change the letter. So I got the F. <laughs> And I like changed it to an A. That was it. She noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't get very far with that one. <laughs> yeah, get <that's> your thought. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I gotcha. But she never like beat me because of grades. But I do know of parents that have beat their kids. And still are when because they get bad grades. Have you ever gotten beaten? I had multiple beatings. That's why I said it's amazing you only had three. <laughs> were they about grades? <laughs> no. No. They were always about dumb other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you were just a, a busybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was either for always. I can tell you the main two. Talking. No, no, the main the much. main one. No, not not even talking too much. What? Talking back. Oh. Not talking back. Yes. Okay. Talking back, talking back, and being smart at the mouth. Oh yeah, it's always those two. Yeah, your mouth is smart as fuck. Or just doing something I had no business doing. Mm-hmm. Like one time, I was, I don't even know why I was doing this, but I like drug my cousin <laughs> out the room, and like I was at my grandma's house, and her the way her house is set up, she can see like <laughs> through the kitchen. It's like this window. <laughs> she saw me, and she was like. Did you just drag? <laughs> when I tell you she beat me, and then she gonna tell me she loved me, like yeah. That's what my mom said every three, every, all the three times that I'm beating you because I love you. Right? Like yeah, right. Yeah, you're sure. abusing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ran one time. Have you ever grabbed the belt? Like why did beat? My last time I got beat, <laughs> I grabbed it because she was hitting me, and I was like. I really, this really doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and that made her even more mad. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, she was ready to fight you. And she was ready to fight But she's you. never punched me, though. Yeah, yeah. I didn't grab it. Yeah. Well, yeah. you'd have been abused. <laughs> <laughs> but you said none of them been about grades. But yeah. we have parents that are like, they will fight their kids if they because bring home an F. Yeah. And instead of getting them a tutor, I, I agree with this. <laughs> I didn't even think about it that way. So yeah. you're beating me because I'm failing, but you're not trying to help, help me. me. To <laughs> Maybe I am distracted. Right. And you say, you need to stop being distracted. Help me. Or you need to stop failing. I don't understand what this lady is talking about. You need to pay attention. I, I am paying attention. I just don't understand. Stop talking so much. It's my classmates. <laughs> I was talking way too much, and I can't even understand what the leader, the teacher is saying because they always talking to her and stuff. Like it's a lot. We were just me and my friends. We were just talking about that the day. How saying like black parents would be like, okay, what's two plus two? Six. 
Two plus two is six. They would get so mad. Hey. <laughs> you try. You're supposed to be helping me do the homework, but it's not that, be a you drill get sergeant. Frustrated because I don't know the answer. <laughs> like, girl, if I knew what two plus two was, I would tell you. It's right there on the paper. Where? Where? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The cat ran in the house. Okay, and the cat ran in the horse. Does that say horse? <laughs> no. <laughs> That says house. Come they on. They get so frustrated. <laughs> what are you getting so mad? Like, you do it. Do my home then. <laughs> then the teacher says something home. Uh, it looks like you did their homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get our, we gotta get our kids crazy. a tutor. Ooh. Especially now. Things yeah. are so much. Especially with all this technology. Yeah. These parents do not know how to work that. Especially with <laughs> Zoom. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said my brother, oh my god, this past year, like he when he had um when his class had COVID, and I tell you this man was literally the only student that logged on the entire time. <laughs> the entire time. I said, No, well, where's your classmates? <laughs> like, where's the kids? Like, y'all are I understand y'all are sick, but y'all still, you know, have to take attendance. Everybody was sick. Like, <laughs> where is and all of the everybody know all the young people know how to turn on a, f- a yeah. phone. Yeah, you go can. to Zoom. They know how to, even if they've never been on Zoom, they know how to work Zoom. <laughs> they sure do. They know how to work it. They know how to work it. Now the older people, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know. Not it is a time. And I don't have time. Yeah, I know. How do you work this? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about this. But no, we need to get some tutors for these kids. Instead of beating them. Uh, I said this before. Um, that we took beating from slavery time. Mm-hmm. And they used to that. beat us. And now we're beating our kids <laughs> for correction. But the Bible also says, spare the rod, swallow the child. But every time they get an answer wrong, you hit them. <laughs> I'm going to beat you into submission. <laughs> I'm going to beat you into intelligence. You will <laughs> learn how to be someone. Oh, you go past. I will beat you all the way to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> you will graduate. <laughs> And you going to smile. <laughs> even if I kind of <laughs> stand behind you with the belt like this. Or you will walk across that stage. You going to smile. <laughs> you will walk across that stage. Are stand. we going over? Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> anytime, anyway. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode, Johnny. You can close us out. You, you, you open. it there. You're you, headed. All right. You're Thank you guys for close. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. It's very interesting. Let us know your comments, your thoughts. Interact with us. Of course, don't forget to get us to 50 subscribers. Subscribers or likes? Likes on Facebook. Don't forget to give us the 50 likes on Facebook. So and that Instagram. Way you can see Johnny and Jeremy go one-on-one on basketball. But with that being said, I am your host, Armani. That is Johnny. And...